Hi, I'm Eleanor Higgs, this is Alpha Science, and today we're discussing why the location of the world's tallest tree is kept a closely guarded secret. The world is full of very tall attractions. The Eiffel Tower in Paris, the Chrysler Building in New York, or the Burj Khalifa in the United Arab Emirates. But the tallest living tree in the world is one such visitor experience that you might not get to enjoy. With the enormous redwood in California kept a secret from the general public, it's no longer something you can tick off your visitor bucket list. So, where is the world's tallest tree? Hidden deep in the Redwood National and State Park in Northern California stands an impressive giant redwood tree nicknamed Hyperion. This giant tree is thought to be the tallest living tree in the world at a mighty 115.92 meters tall. For comparison, that's even taller than the Statue of Liberty. The tree was only discovered in 2006, and since then the location has been a closely guarded secret to try and protect it. Although allegedly its coordinates were posted by a website in 2015, which led to an uptick in hikers, there are no direct easy walking trails to the tree, and those wanting to have a closer look have been bushwhacking their way through dense vegetation. So, why can't you visit Hyperion? Despite the fact it's off limits, still scores of visitors were determined to pay Hyperion a visit. So much so that the National Park Service has now closed the entire area and stated that there will be a fine of up to $5,000 and potentially jail time for those determined to break the rules and seek it. The usage was having an impact on the vegetation and the root system of the very tree people were going there to visit. People were leaving trash and creating side trails to use the bathroom. They would leave toilet paper and human waste at the scene. The closure is largely to prevent further damage to the surrounding ferns and vegetation in the area, but also to protect visitor welfare. Since there is no clear route of access and spotty GPS and cell phone service, any emergency service would have a very difficult time reaching someone in distress. So it's probably not worth trying to visit Hyperion. Some things are not meant to be found. Thanks again for watching Eiffel Science and don't forget to subscribe for more science videos.